most of the exit polls are indicating a massive overwhelming majority for the bharatiya janata party led nda despite being in power for 10 years prime minister narendra modi's popularity is unfaded and is only increasing perhaps there is no parallel to what narendra modi led government has achieved this time anywhere in the world in any democracy in the world india being the world's largest democracy with so much of complexity diversity uh, noisy democracy that it is for a political party to be in power for 10 consecutive years and for the prime minister to get reelected with a much bigger mandate is a huge indication of the kind of faith the kind of trust that he has earned among the billion indians this again proves the fact that narendra modi is the most popular leader in the world today and he is once in a multi century leader to have garnered this kind of faith and support from the people the exit polls are also indicating a search for the bjp in all of southern states in india this again indicates that the people of the country people from the south of india have very clearly unequivocally rejected the congress parties and the indi alliances view that south india is somehow different from the north of india that their attempts to project and portray and divide india on the basis of region on the basis of language this has failed and to and and if you look at the numbers that have come from andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu and kerala it truly it it clearly proves that there is only one political party in india today that is truly a national party that is the narendra modi led bjp so this uh, you know the the mood of the nation that is uh, reflected in the exit polls are a clear indication that in the last 10 years the country has become more prosperous the country is secure and the country is firmly marching with a lot of confidence towards a viksit bharat the prime minister's vision sir chunav se thode din pehle ki congress parliament jaakar protest kiya tha ki funds nahi aa rahe hain uske baad ek ek statement aata hai congress ki taraf se ki pratyek rashtra chahiye dakshin dakshin bharat ko aisa statement tha uske baad bhi bjp mein bahut sare dakshin bharat mein bjp ko bahut sare vote seats mile uske bare mein so that's what i'm telling you the fact that the bjp is getting so much of support in all of the southern indian states is an indication a clear clear indication a categorical uh, uh, um, uh, statement that the people of south india are making that they have rejected this politics of division the politics of seeing southern india differently treating southern india differently trying to create fake narratives based on race on language on region so i think this is the beginning of the end of the congress party's marxist dravidianist model of trying to see the southern india from a different lens and trying to create artificial divisions in the country sir abhi ram mandir ke baad congress ke bahut sare statement aaye the ki ram mandir banne se bjp ko vote nahi milenge magar ram mandir banne se positive view ek desh mein chala uska bhi kuch fayda hoga sir bjp ko pichle 10 saal mein in the last 10 years there has been a cultural revival a cultural renaissance in the country that the prime minister has led 10 years ago the average hindu did not have the courage or the pride to call himself and associate himself with this great religion to call himself a hindu the big change cultural change that we have seen in the last 10 years is that the average hindu today is proud of his civilization his history what you know his his uh, traditions so i think the ram mandir's uh, uh, inauguration was a moment that reminded indians that we must truly go back to identifying what we are to find pride in our civilizational heritage and it was reawakening the soul of a great nation so that has found uh, you know utterance in the electoral uh, results and uh, the prime minister is the um, his commitment to bharat civilizational ethos bharat's uh, uh, you know the sanatan dharma this is something that people have appreciated 
people have clearly spoken in favor of a very vocal and unapologetic uh, dharmic prime minister in Karnataka, people have given an overwhelming verdict, it so appears through the exit polls in favor of the BJP. By doing so, they have indicated that their voting pattern is very different when it comes to assembly elections and parliamentary elections. To the Congress party's attempt at foisting a particular economic model, which is a sure shot ruin economic disaster for the country, which they have tried to experiment in Karnataka the last one year through their freebie politics, their mindless populist economics, this people of Karnataka have rejected. Third, people have also very clearly, people of Karnataka have also expressed by voting for the BJP in such big numbers that they do not subscribe to the Congress party's view that Karnataka should be a separate nation, that southern India should be a separate nation. Because this was what was the plank of the Congress, whether it was D.K. Suresh's statement, whether it was the entire Congress campaign that southern India and Karnataka is being cheated of its funds or of its rightful share. All of these have been rejected by the people of the state.